Hey, Florida Travelers, Krista here, and Epcot's International Festival of the Arts is in full swing this year. And if you're thinking about checking it out, I'll go over all of the details and show you exactly what to expect. Epcot's International Festival of the Arts is the first of many events that happen at Epcot throughout the year. This is the fifth year that Disney has thrown this event, and I have to admit, this is only the second time that I've ever attended, but it's quickly becoming one of my favorite events because we just love walking around and looking at Disney art. The Festival of the Arts runs from January 8th to February 22nd, so if you haven't had a chance to go yet, you still have until the end of February to go and check it out. I think one of the biggest draws to attending any of Epcot's yearly festivals is the food. There are a number of different booths set up throughout Epcot and a handy thing to pick up is the festival passport. This passport will tell you all of the booth menu items, so if you want to plan things out to kind of figure out what you want to check out or not, make sure to pick up one of these. One of my favorite items this year and one of the things that I absolutely had to try the minute that I saw it was Remy's Ratatouille. If any of you are a fan of Ratatouille, then you'll definitely want to head to the World Show Place and try it. It is presented exactly the way that it is in the movie, and I couldn't be more excited to try it. It was so good. While we're in here, I might as well show you around the rest of the World Show Place. The World Show Place is located on the west side of the lagoon in between Canada and the United Kingdom. It can be easily missed because it's a bit off of the main path, so if you're not looking for it, you can walk right by it. But the World Show Place is where most of the guest favorites are going to be located. Not only are there food booths, but there are a few notable artists in here as well, including Thomas Kincaid. While we were in here, I also saw this other booth serving steak tartare and pistachio tarts, and well, I, I had to try them both. So we went back into line to grab both of these dishes, but look at them. They're a work of art all on their own, and they taste just as good as they look. One of the other things that I love about Epcot Festival of the Arts is the interactive aspects of it. Not only are you able to go from booth to booth and admire and purchase art pieces, but during certain times of the day, the artists are actually there to talk to the guests and will even sign the work that you purchase while you're there. So if you're one of those that want to go in there and talk to the artists and get an idea of what their inspiration was, this event is definitely one of those that you want to go to. If you get inspired to create work yourself, you are even able to help paint a wall mural. It's paint by number, so it's pretty easy, and you just have to grab your paint and brush from this booth over here, and you'll be able to create a masterpiece yourself with a number of other guests. You're able to be a part of this until 5 p.m. every day, so make sure to swing by and grab a paintbrush. One of the other things that I really loved that they incorporated this year was sidewalk art. Sidewalk art gained popularity in 2020 from all of the amazing artists that created works in their driveways while we were all in lockdown. And I love that Disney gave a nod to all of that creativity by adding a sidewalk art exhibit into the festival. They even have an interactive perspective one that you can take pictures on. It is a walkthrough exhibit, but look at all of this work. It's amazing to think that these were all created with just a piece of chalk. Even if you don't want to try any of the food, you can still enjoy your time there by just walking around from one artist to the other and enjoying the work. And believe me when I say that it is difficult to walk away without finding at least one or two pieces that you want to purchase. 
We even broke down and bought one ourselves that I admired from last year, and there were so many others that I would love to collect in the future. In each artist's booth, there are a few different sizes of artwork from limited pieces that are already framed to simple matted prints if you're looking for something that's a bit more budget friendly. Like every other Epcot event, if you're looking to skip the crowds, the best time to go to Epcot is going to be during the weekdays. Most of the locals, like me, are going to head to Epcot during the weekends on our days off, and that is exactly what I did. I was there last weekend, and it was pretty crowded, but to be honest, it wasn't as crowded as it has been in past years because of the limited capacity that Disney has in place. So if you aren't able to make it during the week, I still feel that it's worth going this year on the weekend if you haven't had a chance to go yet. No Disney Epcot Festival would be complete without its own merchandise. So if you are looking to pick up a memento or two of your visit to the Art Festival, there are a few different things that are available for this year, including artist palette shaped plates, t-shirts, as well as a few other items. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this overview of Epcot's International Festival of the Arts this year. If you found this helpful and would like to support my channel, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I release a new video every week and you can see more of it by subscribing. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have an amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.